Factsverse presents A restaurant owner cooks and eats deer in front of outraged vegans. There is always a hot debate when it comes to the morality of consuming animal products. According to vegans, the practice is not only not ideal, but a gross violation of animal rights. Having been a vegetarian for the last five years, I am of the opinion that everyone should be allowed to eat what makes them happy. My sentiments are, however, not shared by most of my vegetarian counterparts. The more radical followers of the vegetarian diet look for every opportunity to spread the gospel that eating meat is wrong. Under the right conditions, they will not shy away from organizing protests to champion their cause. In my opinion, such a move not only widens the rift between vegans and those who eat animal meat, but also fuels constant conflicts among the two groups of people. For instance, when confrontations have emerged between these two groups, there has been a lot of tension and bizarre scenes as a restaurant owner cooks and eats a deer in front of outraged vegans. The Vegan Protest A recent incident in Canada brought to the spotlight the ever-growing conflict between these two diverse groups of people. A protest organized by the vegetarian community outside a Canadian restaurant called Antler sparked a lot of emotions. According to the vegans, the restaurant, which specializes in local seasonal and wild foods such as boar, rabbit, and deer, was not fit to be in operation. They were just not going to let the management get away with it. Even though the restaurant had also included a few vegan dishes on the menu, the protesters felt that it was violating their rights as vegetarians. People were dining on animals such as deer that are meant to run free in the wild. The protest seems to have angered the restaurant chefs. The employees decided to take matters into their own hands and stage a unique demonstration of their own. The Retaliation by the Restaurant's Chef Having had enough of the constant bickering and noise by the vegan protesters, one of the restaurant's chefs, who happened to also be a co-owner in the enterprise, took an entire deer leg and dismembered it at the restaurant's window. He boldly cut up the leg in full glare of the crowd of protesters on a table meant for diners. According to Marin Jill Ugar, who was one of the organizers of the protest, Michael Hunter took a seat and comfortably ate the dead deer as the crowd watched. On his Facebook page, Marin outlines that the deer was treated like a joke and deserved better. It was a free animal that did not deserve to die at the hands of the cruel chef. This incident not only shocked the crowd that had gathered, but greatly angered the vegans, who saw it as a slap in the face for championing a worthy cause. It took the skillful approach of police officers to calm the situation. After the chef started chopping up the deer head, they had to walk into the restaurant and try to talk to the chefs to back down. Their actions seemed to have greatly angered the crowd, making the whole situation very unpredictable from there on. The entire scenario happened in the full glare of the media and came as a shocker for the vegan protesters who could do nothing but watch. Antler's Restaurant Response to the Incident in response to the incident, the owners of the eatery stated that the incident had tainted the reputation of their business. The owners were quick to point out that their menu was something that members of the public were well aware of, and people who came to the restaurant did it out of their free will. Even though the business was engaging in the selling of meat, the owners had also undertaken severe foraging and farming initiatives. All this was to ensure that their business was operating in a manner friendly to the environment. The owners termed the protesters as unfortunate, considering that as a business, their main aim was to ensure they serve customers with food that they will enjoy without degrading the environment. Having incorporated a few vegetarian dishes to their menu, they felt the protest was not necessary. Even though they had anticipated such an eventuality, the response by the company was not only very respectful, but a sign that we need to tolerate each other. We should all coexist peacefully, may we be vegans or people who eat animal products. The owners of the restaurant outlined in their statements that they were just in the business of making clients happy, and in no way did they intend to spark such hostile reactions. A chaotic environment is terrible for business. Their address, however, steered clear on the actions of the chef who decided to agitate the vegans by cutting up a deer leg, cooking it, and later eating the meat in their presence. Emerging Trends The incident is just the tip of the iceberg on the divide between vegetarians and people who eat meat. Vegetarians have a deep conviction that eating animals as food is wrong and cruel. The innocent animals are meant to roam free, but human beings are denying them that chance. 
Restaurant owners who sell this animal product are now facing the heat of this conflict, with restaurants such as Antler now having to cope with constant protests. As human beings, we need to learn to coexist, no matter our differences. Vegetarians should respect the rights of those who love meat. In return, meat lovers should also not engage in activities meant to agonize the vegan counterparts for their decision. The protest may be over, but the push for a vegan society is still on, according to the vegetarians. In the future, they hope that our community will embrace their way of life. Restaurants such as Antler will see sense and start offering an exclusively vegetarian diet to their customers. It is the best way of conserving our environment by ensuring animals such as deer and boar are free to roam the wild without them facing the risk of ending up under a butcher's knife. Subscribe for more.